everybody, welcome back to Wendell Fishing. Darren here, uh, I'm feeling great. I've been sick the last few days and I'm excited out of all of my fishing kayak modifications, I'm gonna show you my top five. Hey, this channel's for all things fishing and I especially love kayak fishing. If you love it too, please hit that sub and bell notification and I'll continue to keep content like this coming your way. All right, let's hop into the top five kayak mods on my yak and I wanna tell you why they are my favorite. If you happen to like them too, all the links to everything that I'm showing you is in the description below. And these mods are my favorite for one of two reasons. Either they make my life easier out in the water or they help me catch more fish. Mod number five, 3D printed seat risers and under seat storage. I kind of slid in two into one there, but uh, I have a hard time fishing when I'm sitting down. I do it, however, I'd rather find my spot and stand up and fish. And I have better accuracy with my casting and skipping and I just find it to be more comfortable. Um, because I'm up and down all day long, I'm constantly falling back into my seat. It's a pretty long drop, and so I invested in some seat risers. Uh, it makes it easier to get up and down. I also like uh, being higher up in my yak. Uh, you would think that it would make you feel like you're gonna tip it over. Uh, however, it does not. The added bonus of raising your seat inches higher is now you have more storage. And for anyone who kayak fishes, there's not a lot of real estate on these kayaks, uh, so every bit matters. I simply bought this bad boy, and it's turnkey. Place it under your seat. And now you have all your lures, your hooks, your weights, your scents, your leaders. I even fit my scale in here. And if you're like, yes, please, uh, I'll throw that link down in the description below. All right, mod number two is these green running lights. Man, I love these things. I'm usually out in the water early in the morning. I'm usually pulling up and it's still pitch black. Uh, I flick this bad boy on and now I can see everything, including the back of my car as I'm taking everything out of it, put it into my kayak. Uh, I run two batteries, one for my lights and the other to my fish finder. Uh, but this isn't the reason I installed these. Uh, this was just a bonus. The reason I installed green lights, I've had some people write comments, ask me why I didn't put red lights, which indicates the vessel's port side or left side, or green lights indicating the starboard side. Uh, well, the reason is because uh, I was interested in attracting fish. Green light has become my favorite color and uh, many other anglers out there use it because it doesn't provide a lot of glare and it penetrates darker water better, uh, which allows you to see fish much better. And guess what follows all those bait fish to light or my kayak, <laughs> the game fish. And it's a blast watching bass slam the bait fish right next to your boat early in the morning when the sun is coming up. Uh, I run these lights to a 12 volt battery and connect them with a female slide connect or a spade connect. Uh, you also need a toggle switch. Uh, I'll tell you what, in my description below, I'll put all of what you will need um, to create these running lights. I have them both for the inside and outside. All right, my number three mod is the phone holder. Mine's attached to my propel drive, which is nice because it's right front and center. However, I created a video on uh, all the other things you'll need to attach the rig to your track mount as well. Uh, here's why I'm a huge fan of the phone owner, especially having it front and center. It's just easy to respond to people and pick up the phone. Uh, I used to have it in my pocket and I just knew it was just a matter of time before I fumbled this to the bottom of the lake. Also, it's a pain to have to take it out of your pocket to take a photo every time you catch a lunker. Uh, also, my hands by that time are either wet or slimy. Uh, having this holder is perfect because you don't need to touch the phone. Uh, if you have an iPhone, Siri is available from your lock screen. Uh, you need to use these voice commands. Uh, take a picture or take a photo and Siri will open up the camera app and then you just command it. Take a square picture, take a panoramic picture, take a video, take a slow-mo video. Basically, any mode for photos and videos will work except for portrait mode. I'm not sure why, it just doesn't work. All right, my second favorite mod is the Kayak Crate with Rod Holders. Man, these things are awesome. You can buy them new. They're expensive, $160, $170, and don't get me wrong, they're probably really nice, but you can make one of these your very own for under $35. Here's the reasons I love it. Storage, man, there's a ton of storage in here. You get down in here, I have all my lures, my tools, horn. You can put your jackets in here. You can flip this, tighten it up. It's got bungees under here, so if you're done with your hat, done with your sunglasses, uh, I got keys, sometimes I you can put them in my backpack or simply take the carabiner or something on here, the bungee. Uh, anything can go under the bungees here. Uh, so you don't have to turn around and open this up all the time. Second are the rod holders. I have six of them. I could figure out how to put more on it, I would. Uh, I just love running a variety of different rods. I have them fanned out, as you can see here. They're not all straight up and down, which sometimes I get lucky because sometimes I'll hit a bridge that because they're fanned out, I can get under it without having taken all my rods out. I also like it because uh, in the design, you can see these bungees on each one of these rod holders. So once you put your rod in here, you can turn around and actually secure them in. So if for some reason you were to tip over your kayak, uh, you don't have to worry about losing all of your rods to the bottom of the lake. Also, anything you have in here under the bungees is going to stay, and anything you have inside your kayak crate is going to stay also, because part of the design is having a little lock here. So if you flip your yak, everything attached to this kayak, you are not going to lose. All right, and my number one favorite kayak mod 
this guy. I've been fishing for a full year before I made this investment and I wish I would have made it sooner. The Yak Attack Pro Mega Rod Holder. These things are awesome. Uh, these are the rod holders I use to troll with. I've never been a trolling fisherman, but man, when the bite dies out and I'm just going insane because I need to land a fish, I uh, turn around into my kayak crate and pull out the big guns. They're fairly easy just to attach. You just stick it on at what angle you want. Push that little latch forward and they're not coming off. Tie on a crankbait, drink some coffee, take a phone call, watch the latest YouTube video and just wait for the end of that tip to bend over and boom, you either cut yourself a bass or a crappie. The links are in the descriptions below. If you found this video helpful, please help me out. Hit that like button and I'll continue to keep the content coming. All right, see you guys later. Bye.